Torres, in October is going to be just about this powerful energy within you. The power in you. The power within you, it turns on. And all I can say is everybody needs to watch out for Torres as you make some major life changes, some major growth spurts. Let's take a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Taurus for the month of October. So welcome to my channel. If you're new, I hear it, see it, feel it, and it comes through me. I'm guided in these readings. I will look to the left when I see the visions, my left, to when I see the visions. Um, you guys, this is a powerful, powerful energy. It's almost like King Kong, but not quite that in depth, you know, where you're really feeling this power within and you know what you need to do, whatever is going on around you. That's because of what you've been through in the past. That's the lessons that you've learned. The testing that you may hear me and other people, I don't know, I don't listen to other readers, but you may hear them talking about being tested. That's what it is. Because when you go through a spiritual awakening, Taurus, there's always a sense of testing, making sure how bad is it that you want this new beginning and are you going to go back to what you were in a repetitive cycle with? Not all Taurus have been through hard times, challenges, but a lot of you have. That's why you are who you are today. It brought you to this point of being like mighty. Okay, it's mighty. It's very dignified and very earth, earthly, but it has this sense of force behind it where maybe you've become spiritual and you've learned how to use the forces of the angels to help you in your, in your everyday life. But there is something coming in where it's going to turn it on. It's like protection mode. Now, I don't see anything bad happening. I'm not trying to do that to you. I'm not scaring you. The protection mode is, I need to make sure of this. I need to be in high gear. I need to move my finances. It's like you're going to know how to take care of yourself. That is the protection mode that I'm referring to. Where you're being cautious and not fearful. For some of you, you went through a lot of situations that really uh, drove that fear to a high level, but not in the month of October. Things are really going to change for us. Time is speeding up, and that new moon that's coming in on October 2nd is kicking it off. You may already feel a little bit of that energy right now where it's like, okay, I know what I need to do. I need to scoop up my babies, you know, get my little baby kittens and I'll scoop them up. But you know exactly what you need to do. So let's take a look at your foundation, your career finances, projects if you're not working. And then we'll look at family, friends, and of course romance. At the end, I will bring in a guided message for you. Now the card that came out for you, <clears throat> which I found very interesting, is the death card. Okay, the ending the transformation. There is a change going on around you, which has everything to do with what I'm talking about. So there's this new formed, I got this, you know, is this new form, I know how to go forward. And you are going to make some changes in your life that are going to be very, very good, very healthy choices when it comes to your foundation. I do see some of you are able to invest money it looks like gold and silver so you may be buying some commodities um you may be investing in gold and silver um there's something that has to do with those color tones for some of you it's wearing gold and silver and others it's wearing copper all right so this is a form of protection right making sure that you are safe so that uh so they're saying so that you know exactly what direction to go as you go forward. This is this uh, transformative energy is unlike anything that you've ever experienced because even though you may have gone through different levels of ascension, this one is pushing you when you're at the brink of being tired and you just can't do it and you don't have to do it, but you do it anyway. I don't know if that makes sense. You know, it's like you don't have to finish anymore because we have a choice. We don't have to go through the journey. We didn't have to go through everything 
We chose to because we wanted a better life. We wanted a better quality of people that we are involved with, family, ourself. We wanted to recapture who we are. And that's what I feel is going on for a lot of you. And because you did that, you know exactly what to do, what job to take, what is real, what is fake, because there's some fake stuff going on. There's scams going on all over the place. And you know, like, that's because of the journey. You had such strong determination, which is in your nature. You didn't turn this journey down. And I really thought for a while, you, but this was about a year or two ago, you were really having a hard time. There was a lot of anger in the overall group of Taurus. And I haven't seen it for, I'm going to say it's closer to two years. But now it's very... Mm, like satisfied like you're satisfied doesn't mean that you don't have things coming at you that you have to deal with you do that's why you're going within and pulling this powerful you out that's what the whole journey was meant to do and you've accomplished that so this transformation in the foundational area of your life you're going to know exactly what to do when to do it who to go and help when you're visiting somebody, some of you are going to start reading books to the elderly. Um, whether you do it, I'm seeing it virtually where you're reading books to people so they can hear you and you're talking, you know, through the either virtual or they may not have a picture on it. I see the picture, but you're reading to the elderly, which is going to be very good for you to do. Let us know if that's you. If you've been thinking about it, this is your confirmation to probably go ahead and do it. Others of you, I feel there's a change in your earned incomes area. Earned income. Um, there's no satisfaction is what I'm seeing. It's like, <laughs> I don't even want to do it. Do I have to go to school, mom? You know, one of those energies where it's like you really don't want to go. And I feel you're going to find a way out if you haven't already. You may have already started a business or a, a, a venture. I'm seeing capital venture. You may be investing with capital venture uh, situations or having the funding come in for a startup business. But there is something very powerful, a big change or transformation in your, in your earned income sector. And... Now, when we look at family, you know, I feel some of you, they're showing me two dash three years you've been not in communication with somebody. It could be 20 to 30 years for some of you, but there is definitely a length of time, a divide. And I see some of you are actually going to, you're going to have communication and you may have heard them talking to you, started thinking about him when Mercury was in retrograde back in August, maybe even as early as July, because there was a lot of the telepathic communication going on where people were talking to me. And it's not just because of who I am, because you have the same ability as I do. So it's like this telepathic communication where they were resolving. They were trying to say they're sorry. They were trying to communicate. Some of them were even asking to come in. And that's what I see is going on around Taurus in the background. Now, these people may be coming in the physical. That's what I'm seeing. They started it telepathically. You kept thinking about them. You kept wondering why are they, you know, why do I keep thinking about them? I haven't talked to them in so long. And then all of a sudden they're going to knock on your door. Now, there's going to be a lot of that happening more toward the latter part of the year and the beginning of January. And it is going to be heavy because you got to know who you're dealing with. But at this particular moment in October, I feel this is somebody you are going to want to talk to. Somebody that used to be very close to you where I feel there was a, a, a ending and, and it happened super quick. That power within you, you're going to know who you're talking to and how to deal with it. But I do see them coming back around to you. So make sure that you are using your intuition as you go forward. You have the four of wands and that's beautiful. This is a healthy, happy relationship. Joy, celebration. That's why I'm saying they're going to come in and want to talk to you because this is what they want. 
And I really think in this case, and you're going to know who it is, put the first name only, first name only in the comment. Remember, when you put a comment on my readings, that's taking action. Action creates the change, a positive flow of change. Well, it's positive as long as you put positive words. You put negative words, it's going to be negative change for you, not for me, for you. So this four of wands is beautiful because it's like a healthy relationship is coming back around for you guys. And I like that. I feel you need it and you deserve it. And you're ready for it, actually wanting it. For another group of you, I see two different people that uh, I feel are on the cusp. They're on the cusp. You may be taking them aside, knocking them aside. You may have started to avoid these people, or you are watching your partner do it to his fam their family or somebody else. Maybe your neighbor's doing it to their family. So it's like it's reminding you of what happened in a different situation. It's like a similarity of what happened and this is triggering you but it doesn't phase you that's the spiritual growth and job well done when it doesn't when a trigger is no longer a trigger that means you've healed that issue so i feel a lot of our taurians have actually healed and grown tremendously in this area of your life now, when it comes to romance, I feel this, you know, I'm seeing somebody like they're really tough, the power within, but it it's not a bad thing. So if you and your partner are having some challenges is what I'm hearing, challenges, it is time for both of you to step into your personal power so that you can look at the relationship from a completely different angle. And that angle will help create a well, okay, what they're saying is a well-needed oil machine where you work in tandem with each other. I was trying to see if you got the three of pentacles where you work in tandem with each other. And that is beautiful. You have the ten of wands. So you've been dealing with a situation with them that has been very trying, very heavy. They may have not even been helping you out or vice versa, left you to fix and do everything. For some of you, I feel your partner wasn't working, okay? I see somebody not working like a couch potato over here. But it's like working in tandem. Something's going to come through a conversation, but it has to do with an outside... Um, it looks like an outside couple, like talking to your neighbors or somebody you know where they're going through something and you're watching them do it. And somehow as a miracle could be, it makes the two of you fix your situation. The communication is very important in this situation. That Ten of Wands is a lot of weight on somebody's shoulder. Very lopsided relationship. And with the Ten of Wands, right behind it comes the Ace of Wands. And that's what I was talking about. The fiery energy kind of comes back in where it's exciting to do things together, going to the store together, but not arguing along the way, where you're going with a purpose and it works, it blends. There's a coming together in this toxic, well, it's not really toxic, it's a distant, a distant relationship. If you're in a toxic relationship, you're done. You're done. You're going to walk away somehow, some way. I feel some of you are going to travel, actually travel and go live with a friend or a relative in a faraway location, and you're done. Whether you get a divorce, whether you have paper sign, uh, divide the property, all of that doesn't I just see you leaving, period. Um, it's like you're done. And for those of you who are looking for love, I do feel that there's a really good option coming in but you have to be in the right frame of mind or you weren't going to see it. And what I mean by that is, you know, I raising my children alone, there were people looking at me and I didn't even know they were looking. My kids would go, hey, hey, hey. I was like, where, where? And they were standing right in front of me. But I wasn't interested in a relationship. I was, being a single parent is a lot of responsibility. And yet, this was right in front of me and I couldn't see it. That's what I'm saying. You have to pay attention 
because there is a new person on the horizon. Not to worry if you don't see them right now. What I'm saying, this person is in your local area and I feel it's in a grocery store, a supermarket, a farmer's market. There's a lot of produce. There's a lot of produce. Okay, it could be Costco. I don't know. But you will meet up again. There will be one and it looks like it's more around December. So if you are wanting this, doesn't mean chase love. You never chase. You allow it attract. You allow it to come in, okay? And they will come back around. So overall, in general, with you guys, you have the look at things from a different angle, okay? You got to look at it from every single angle there is so that you can find out what's going on. And that's what I mean. You got to open your eyes. You got to pay attention so that you don't miss them and go, oh man, they walked out the street and I can't go run after them. That would look silly. The power within you is coming out. Now let's hear what your guides, the guardians have to say are angels for you. <clears throat> Taurus, do not beat your chest as if you are overly fierce, but we do want you to walk forward and use the power within. We guided you through every step of the way. Sometimes you felt this and sometimes you didn't. We put pictures and videos and people in front of you to help you heal, to help you grow because of your very strong binding to earth. You needed that help in order to release and let go of things that took place that were holding you back. Now you're in a position where you have that power inside of you. Use it wisely, not from a place of ego, not from an open, unprotected heart, but from an open heart that is able to be surrounded by protection. You know how to walk the line to get to the other side of where you're going. You know how to invest, and one thing is for sure, you can pick up anything on the material earth and turn it into gold, like Midas with his finger. This is all about you and what you really want in life. October is that new beginning for many, many of our Taurians. It is time for you to be the bull that you are. Be fierce, but know the direction that you're going. Anytime you feel alone, confused, not certain of the direction to go, meditate, touch a tree, put your feet on the grass, call us in, and within minutes, you're going to have your answer. Thank you. All right, Taurus, I hope that helps you. Have an amazing October. Much love.